Hello everyone and welcome to this pick up our reading about Atlantis and the angel messages and to bring in magic for you right now. So this is going to be a reading with three powerful decks of cards and three powerful piles to give you the information you need. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to use the Atlantis cards by Diana Cooper, the Whispering Woods Oracle and the Eyes through the art of the soul. These are beautiful cards and we're going to use three beautiful crystals for you to choose from. So in this reading there's no right or wrong so you go where you're guided to. So you may be guided to one pile, two piles or even all three but there will be messages there for you. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, you're in charge in a pick a pile. So we're going to use this one for pile number one this one for pile number two and this one for pile number three. So which one is calling to you? So I'm going to shuffle the cards to give you an idea of where you're being guided to go. Let's do this because every day I'm shuffling. So thank you angels. What do we need to know please for pile one? For pile number two, wow, straight away. And pile number three, wow, they're just jumping in my hand there. Pile number three, okay. There was a few there for pile number three. What do we need to know, please, angels, for pile number one? Wow, look how that jumped out there. Pile number two, thank you. And pile number three, what do we need to know? Okay. And Whispering Woods Oracle. Whoa, okay, just jump them on the floor there. Let's pick them up. So there's some powerful messages going to come through in here because they've got a mind of their own. Okay, so what do we need to know, please, for pile number one? Thank you. There it is. What do we need to know, please, for pile number two? For pile number two. And for pile number three, what do we need to know? Wow. Okay. Thank you, angels. Okay. Look what's coming out on the top. I feel that's for everyone. Trust there. It says, the robin trusts her wings, not the branch she sits on. So powerful. So trust in you, not your situation or your circumstances, because you are the one that has power. So let's do this then. So we've got pile one, we've got pile number two, and we've got pile number three. So pick your pile one, two or three, where are you being guided to go? Okay, let's do this then. So we're going to start then with pile number one. So the message coming through for you is, wow, you've got patience coming out here. So I feel this is what you're learning right now on your journey. And the angels are asking you to trust because everything is falling into place, but you just need a little bit longer. Patience is the key. And patience doesn't just mean you're waiting around for something. It means you're trusting, you have empathy, you're being flexible and adaptable, you're accepting things, you're calming your mind and you're feeling safe. And the message says everything can be accomplished at nature's pace. That means don't try and rush anything, don't try and run before you can walk, just go with the flow, surrender, let go. Trust that everything has a reason, there's a reason behind everything and that you are safe, there's nothing to fear. So the angels are asking you today to have patience. The message we've got coming up is, wow, the 12 chakras. So you're being healed right now, you're being aligned and you're finding your way. And there's great potential coming into your life. And he says, relax and tune into your potential. So the angels are asking you to tune into who you are, your higher self, because your higher self knows the way. Your higher self knows all the answers. So you've been asked to trust what you feel, which is always real. To trust the opportunities and potential is flowing into your life, that there is potential for this situation to grow, that everything is falling into place and there's nothing to fear and trust that all of your chakras are being healed and being cleansed right now. You are reminded that you have enormous untapped spiritual and psychic power. By relaxing deeply, you can start to activate your cellular knowledge and bring back the wisdom that you held in Atlantis. Your guidance is to access this potential. Find time and space to become quiet and become still so that you can remember who you truly are. Wow. Remember who you truly are. So I feel Archangel Zadkiel with you, helping you to remember who you truly are. 
So power around you today, protection. The angels are asking you to quiet your mind, to go within, to find stillness, to be patient, to let go and breathe. And then all the guidance, all the wisdom and all the knowledge will be unlocked from inside of you and you'll be shown the way. The message of this card is, in Golden Atlantis, every person had 12 chakras and 12 strands of active DNA. When the frequency of Atlantis declined, five of those chakras closed down. Following this, 10 of the strands of DNA, which contain people's evolved psychic power and spiritual power became dormant and are currently known as junk DNA. We are now called on to reactivate the chakras and our full DNA potential. So I feel that you may be interested in chakras or maybe you've even been working on your chakras or healing your chakras or maybe you just don't care about them at all but they have been healed and reactivated to help you to be patient and to help you to access all the untapped psychic power that's residing within you now. How beautiful is that? The also card is look at this we've got Iona. Enter your sacred space and commune with your fairy allies. That's beautiful. Enter your sacred space. Be patient. Calm your mind. Be still. So you're really being guided to find a place within you, in your world right now. Maybe it's in nature. Maybe it's not. But you're going to find some time for you to go within. And you'll commune with your fairy allies. Now, your fairy allies are your guides. They may be nature spirits around you. It could be your loved ones around you or spirit or the angels around you because Archangel Ariel is tapping you in with your nature side, knowing who you are. This is about relaxing and calming yourself, taking your time, understanding there's no need to rush, there's nothing to fear and that you are safe. And nature allies are you know, the guides around you. So it could be your elemental guides. So spirit animals, unicorns, dragons. This is your power without there in the universe, connecting with star seed energy, connecting with your roots, the Atlantis energy within you that's been, it's springing out. So you're finding your way. So a lot of power coming in for you here, but you have to calm your mind, relax and breathe and know that you are safe. And look how powerful you are there, standing in your sacred kind of circle. So you are protected and you've got the strength there that you need. You know, you've got the staff there that's giving you support. You are protected, you are loved. And the pink colour there is the power of Archangel Ariel, connecting you with nature, connecting with your guides. Archangel Jophiel, helping you to see the beauty in all things and the beauty around you too. Changing your mind about things, changing your perception, helping you to see that the more patience you have, the better things feel because you relax you breathe you calm your mind and you know that you are safe and all of your chakras are being activated to heal your heart and this is also connecting you with the power of archangels metatron and archangels raziel raziel the psychic angel tapping you in and metatron helping you to have patience and trust so you're surrounded by angels they are guiding you they are helping you and they are showing you the way so nothing to fear, have patience, you are loved and safe. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon, wow. Pile number two, wow, okay, let's see what the angels want you to know today. So the message is, wow, we've got adventure, live wild and live free. So this is a big sign of new beginnings coming into your life, fresh opportunities, a new start, a time for adventure. This is a time now to release the past, to release anything holding you down, holding you back and follow your heart. Follow your dreams, ask for what you want, set your intentions and just breathe and live your life wild and free. That means free yourself of things trying to hold you back, drag you down. Free yourself of fears or constraints in your mind. There may be things restricting you in the world right now that's stopping you from feeling free. But if you go there in the mind, you go there in the body. And when you open your mind, you feel free. So this is a huge sign for you that better times are coming in, adventure, new beginnings and a fresh start. And you've got the Sphinx here. 
And I feel this is protection. I also feel if you're a twin flame, this is a great sign of alignment because I feel this is feminine and masculine energy aligning, being purified, being cleansed and protected here by the divine. So really powerful. We've also got this Sphinx connected with Egypt and ancient energy. So power coming in here, power and strength. And this is about keeping secrets and revealing them to at the right time. It says, keep your own counsel and the secrets of others. So remember that hold things you want in deep. Be careful about who you trust and talk to because not anyone or everyone is going to understand you and you understand yourself. That's what's important. So the message says your guidance is to maintain silence until it's appropriate for you to divulge information. So this Sphinx here is reminding you to keep things to yourself, you know, to remember that you have the power. So keep your thoughts in your mind and you have that power then. So maybe this is a goal or a dream that you have. The angels are asking you to manifest it with the universe. It's between you and it's between the universe. Nobody else matters. What matters is you and what you believe and feel. And sometimes outside influences can get in the way, can cause trouble, especially if you're wanting to create something new, something magical, connected with this new adventure. So hold things for now close to your heart and the right time will come for you to tell the world about it. The Sphinx may indicate that you must keep your own or other people's secrets to prove that others can trust you. So maybe someone's confided in you and, you know, there's a secret that they've given to you. The angels are asking you to hold their trust, you know, to keep that secret for them. Because at the right time, it will come out. So if this is connected with a twin flame connection... Don't worry about being the secret because it's going to come out at the right time. It's going to be created and manifested for you. And I feel you're both working on trust right now. This is a great way to earn trust to show that you can be trusted. Or it may suggest that it's time for you to look within to access your wisdom. Then share it appropriately. So this is also a sign that you're gaining wisdom. You're gaining knowledge, understanding of something. So it may not be the right time to share it with the world because you're still learning yourself. You're still understanding yourself. And then when that mystery and secret is revealed to you and you have that powerful aha moment, you'll be able to share it with the world. But this is a great sign that you have this powerful wisdom and strength within you. And this is also the number five here. Okay, the number five signifying change adventure, new beginnings, fresh start. So the significant changes coming in that will move you forward to where you need to be. Within the temple of Poseidon, a gigantic statue of a sphinx guarded the eastern gate. This generic animal represented purity and contained the records for all of the universes, which could only be accessed by the high priest and the high priestesses. The current sphinx in Egypt is earthly equivalent and we can re-energise its power by living in love, harmony and cooperation. So the angels are also reminding you to cooperate with the universe, to have peace within you, to find peace because that will lead you to harmony. And I feel Archangel Raguel, the angel of harmonious relationships around you, helping to build trust, cooperation, to help you both to see so that secrets can be revealed at the right time, so the masks can come off, so you can be your true authentic self and so can they. So this is about you being you and doing what you want to do. And if you need to keep something close to your heart right now, then do that for you. Don't let anyone drag you down, talk you out of anything or make you do something that you don't want to do. Keep your own counsel. Remember who you are. You're your own best friend too. And Archangel Gabriel will help you to communicate with others and yourself at the right time in a loving way, a compassionate way, a cooperative way. And Archangel Honiel is bringing in peace. So I feel you're surrounded by heavenly energy, protection and power. And Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel, is opening you up right now to historic wisdom, to the secrets of your heart, to understand who you are. And wow, you've got earth rapture. You are cherished and protected. So beautiful. You are cherished and protected. So you 
were supported by angels and so is your life, your journey, where you move into your fresh start, your adventure, your new beginning. There's going to be opportunities knocking on your door. So you are protected and supported as you move into the earth rapture. And the rapture is change. You know, the rapture is a new beginning, a fresh start. It's where you move out of one way of thinking and you take into a new way of thinking. So the earth has been healed and changed and it is going through a rapture. Because the earth is changing, we're going through a lot of change right now and there's change all over the place and we have to adapt and we have to cooperate and, you know, focus on who we are and know that we are safe and that everything is moving in the right direction. So this is a great sign for you that new beginnings is coming in adventure, but you have to remember that everywhere you go... And everything you do, you are cherished and you are protected. That you are loved beyond measure. That the angels are all around you, keeping you safe, holding your hand, guiding you on. And there's nothing to fear. So go into your day knowing how loved you are. You know how protected you are. And everything comes from your heart. So connect with your heart space to feel good, to feel blessed, to release fear. They're giving me fear, thank you. So anytime you need to get rid of fear from yourself, release the fear. And they always show me as burpee energy because it's been released out. Then know that you are trusted and that you are cherished and you are protected. So I feel you can be trusted. You know, you are a loyal person. You're very trustworthy and you're showing others that too. And that may be, you know, when you fall over, you get back up and you show that you can be trusted. But also, you know, the things that people tell you you can be trusted with information. So you are a natural counsellor, a healer, a guide, an inspiration, a helper of others. So help others by helping yourself. You are ready for a new adventure and something magical is ahead. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Wow. Pile number three, welcome. So you've got the tiger's eye here. So you may be working through fears. You're being protected right now. You are loved and safe. And you've got, wow, the night here. So this is about darkness around you. So I feel you're going through maybe some darkness. Maybe you've been through a dark night of the soul or even your person has and you've been picking up on that. But you're coming out the other side. So you're protected from fear. You're protected now. You know, you're protecting your heart, yourself, you're shielding yourself from any harm, any lower energy, and you're moving into the light. So you're protected. You know, you are working through your fears, you're finding your way. Find comfort in the night where the world switches off and the stars burn brighter. Wow. The stars burn brighter in the night sky. So this is about you understanding that sometimes you have to go through the dark times to find the light. Because the light is then illuminated and everything makes sense. So I feel that you're finding your way out of darkness. You're releasing fears. You're replacing it with faith. You're learning to trust and let go. So I know you've been through a few challenges lately, struggles, but you're finding your way out. And we've got the, wow, the fifth dimension. So this is also a big sign that you may be connecting right now on the 5D, the fifth dimension. This is where you understand who you are. You tap in with your psychic side. You tap in with your spiritual journey and your spiritual path. So you're finding answers. You're connecting on other realms with people. Not just your twin flame, but with people. Guides, ancestors, loved ones, angels, you know, spirit animals, but also other people's energy. So you're becoming more telepathic, more tapped in. And this is the number 15. And before I read you the card, I want to read you the meaning of the number 15 because I feel this is significant. And this is the Angel Numbers book by Kyle Gray. 15 is saying to you today, you're changing thoughts are changing your life. Align your awareness and energy with thoughts that lift you. So beautiful. And that makes so much sense because you're working through fear. So you're changing your perception. You're changing your thoughts and you're changing them into optimism and power and strength and faith. So you're moving from one energy into another energy. So you're seeing the good in things and you're realizing there's a blessing in everything. The message is do unto others. Okay, so the angels say do unto others as you would have them do to you. So this is about being good to people. It's about giving and receiving. It's about understanding that what you give out, you get back because you are a magnet. So when you're giving love, then you receive love. 
when you're giving positivity you receive positivity when you're thinking good things you receive good things but if you're operating through a lower vibration, then you're bringing things to you from a lower vibration. So you're being asked to understand from a higher perspective that you control your life, that thoughts become things, that you are a creator, that you have the power. Act towards others as you would like to be treated. And, you know, Jesus said that treat others as, you know, as they treat you or as you treat them. So this is about you understanding that love one another as I have loved you. Thank you, Jesus, there. It's about understanding that, you know, if you treat people good and you give that out, then people will treat you the same. If you believe that you are valuable, then people see you as valuable. If you believe that you are lovable, then you are lovable because thoughts become things and you create your reality. If you drew this card, your guidance is to ask yourself how you would like to be treated and act towards others accordingly. Now, that can be hard if we're giving love and we're getting walked on or if we're being hurt because we have to understand that we are healing what triggers heals. So if you feel like you're giving goodness out, but you're being hurt, then you are learning from that pain, that challenge, that that struggle you know this may be bringing in this fear and it's an opportunity to grow and learn because what's happening to you is happening to you to heal you so whatever is hurting your soul and heart ask yourself why why is this hurting me what is this teaching me about me what do i need to change in me so don't blame other people start looking within you know don't blame others forgive others because forgiveness is the key to all things. For example, if you want someone to see your side of an argument, make sure that you listen to theirs. So this is also about compromise, empathy and understanding. This enables you to maintain a higher perspective on life, which will help you to rise into the fifth dimension. So powerful. In the golden years of Atlantis, the people maintained a fifth dimensional frequency by living in accordance with the highest spiritual values. So when you're connecting on the 5D realm, the fifth dimension, you are connecting with your spiritual side, your higher self. You're operating through unconditional love, not through the ego, which creates fear. So you're on a higher vibration. So you're more likely to connect with your person on the 5D realm. You're more likely to receive guidance from your angels and your you know your loving what loved ones and guides when you're operating through love not fear so when you're in fear you know sometimes we can't see that we're being helped or we don't understand because we've got too much going on so we have to breathe and calm our mind and come back into the now and elevate our vibration so we can see the bigger picture and be elevated up to the energy of love where everything makes sense one of these tenants was do unto others as you would have them act towards you. As a result, they were at all times loving, welcoming, fair, cooperative and generous. And this inspired a life in love. So the angel is saying live in love by acting towards people with compassion, be welcoming, be fair, be loving, be generous and kind. And it will move you into the energy of love. And this is really powerful because in the playlist, I've done a video about how we move on our journey, whether it be a twin flame journey or in the school of life, we move out of the ego, which is all of the sins that we create, which means the seven deadly sins. And that's not from a religious perspective. That's the things we go through, you know, when we're in fear, that we operate through pride and lust and envy and all these things. And then we learn to adapt and we learn to heal and we learn to change those lower vibrations into the energy of higher ones, the fruit of the spirit. So I've done a video on that. You can go and check that out in the playlist. But the fruit of the spirit is patience and empathy and compassion and unconditional love and all the things it's speaking of here. So you move from your 3D reality into your 5D reality. So you move from all the fear and the ego and all the material stuff and all the things that drag you down and all the worry into the power of the 5D realm. 
the fifth dimension, which is where your power is, where you access your higher self and you tune in with the divine and you find your connection with source. Really powerful. We've got find the middle ground and compromise, transmutation on the tour. So this is very much about on the tour, it says. It says T-O-R, but I'm seeing now as the tour, the journey, the tour of life. And I feel you've got more cards coming out because you may be dealing with some fears right now. Fears around decisions, fears about moving forward, fears about your connection with your person. And the angel is saying to you, find the middle ground and compromise. So sometimes we have to tap in on the 4D. Now, what does that mean? It means you're not operating in fear. You may not be operating in the spiritual side. So you're halfway there. So it's showing you that you're more grounded, you're more aligned. So when you're aligned, you're operating from both feminine and masculine energy. Because masculine energy can be very 3D orientated and feminine energy can be very 5D orientated, so you're aligning, so you're operating through both, so you're seeing things clearer, and when this happens, your third eye opens up, and you see clearer, things make more sense, so you're more tapped in, and you're able to make decisions more clearly, and this is Archangel Michael giving you the sword of truth, the sword of truth to speak your truth, to set intentions, to be clear, to compromise, to understand, to listen, and to cut cords with the fear, the past, the struggle. So you operate from a higher dimension. We've also got be courageous, truth conquers all. And this is powerful. You know, I feel that's like Sir Galahad or, you know, some warrior knight because you are a warrior and you're being guided to stay in your truth and your integrity because truth conquers all. And Archangel Michael is giving you the sword of truth. So this is about you understanding things on a very deeper level. Maybe you've had to go through some darkness to find the truth, to understand, to see things clearer and become the master you seek. This is the master of Tibet. And that's like, um, you know, like Buddha energy, you know, healing, calm, you know, relaxing your mind, finding the humor in things, mastering your emotion. So you're learning right now to master and conquer your emotion, your fears, to take control, to remember that thoughts become things, that you have the power you have the power in your mouth, in your tongue, in your words to harm or heal. The things you speak out, the things you feel, the things you think create your reality. And right now you're the master of your ship. You're in control of your emotions, you're finding your way. So the angels want you to understand this, that you're becoming the master that you seek. So if you're seeking a guru, be your own guru. Be your own counsel, understand that when you find the middle ground and you compromise, things make sense because you're tapping and aligning with, you know, all the things going on in your reality, but also your spiritual side and your connection with source. So you're more likely to connect on the 5D and, and at night. So this is also a sign that you may be astral traveling in dreams. You may be connecting in on the 5D in dreams. You may be receiving guidance from heaven in dreams. But at night, you are more connected and tapped in with the spiritual aspects of who you are. So be courageous, be you, be strong because you are a warrior. So when you go through the darkness and the night time, you know, when you feel lost and alone, understand that you are never alone and you are a warrior and Archangel Michael is right by your side. So I feel Archangel Michael around you, giving you strength, giving you courage to help you to know that love conquers all. I feel Jesus around you as well, helping you to become the master that you seek, to tap in with unconditional love, to raise your vibration, to love everyone, to love others as you want to be loved and to be treated you know, the way you want to be treated. And I feel you've got the higher angels, you know, connecting and guiding you. So you were powerfully tapped in and you're moving out of fear and you're moving into faith. So keep the faith all as well. You're going through a healing right now. Things are being transmuted and you're being guided exactly where you're meant to be. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.